Jon Stewart gets this completely right on the media. I know it's shocking. He d about once a year, Jon Stewart would get something right when he was on TV. He's not on TV anymore, uh, but he gets this right. He's talking to CNN about how the media are reacting to Trump, how they're covering Trump, how they're being triggered by Trump, and he puts it right in their face. Here he is. So do you think, because obviously we're all caught up in this sort of daily Trump fest. I mean, every mm. single newspaper, every radio station, every bit of social media. You got to make money, too. Well, it's you gotta, dissecting. You got, you got bills to pay, man. You got electric bills. You got food. You it's, know, this guy is he's giving you all cash, the cash flow in the Trump era for uh for these TV stations and for these... Can, can I say, that might have been an issue, and yeah. maybe it still is an issue for the people who are the bean counters, but yeah. we, the journalists, we, I think, believe that our job is to navigate the truth and to do the fact-checking and all the rest of it. So I think that's what motivates but a lot of people. But I think the journalists have taken it personally. Okay, They're that's personally wounded and offended by this man. He baits them, and they dive in. And what he's done well, I thought, is appeal to their own narcissism, to their own ego. Because what he says is these are the, and the journalists stand up and say, we are noble, we are honorable, how dare you, sir? And they take it personally. Exactly right. Just think of Jim Acosta. When, when was the last time that Jim Acosta wasn't looking in a mirror? Because when he's on camera, you know, the camera lens is a little mirror, he can see himself. I think when that camera goes off, he immediately just turns to the mirror. He says, oh, there you are, Jim. There, you're a great American. You're strong. You're good enough, smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. That is what the media have become, because they've made it all about themselves. One of the rules in journalism is you're supposed to not make yourself the story. You are not the story. You're supposed to be covering the story. But because these people are all narcissistic bobbleheads, they make themselves the story. They want to be the center of attention. And Donald Trump is more than happy to oblige because the American people don't like these news anchors. They don't like Jim Acosta. They don't like them one little bit. They don't like people going on television and telling them they're being objective, and actually just spewing left-wing propaganda. The American people don't like it when you boof on their leg and tell them that it's windy. They don't want this one little bit. Boof, boof, Senator. It's flatulence. We were 16, Senator. That's what it is. That's how you define it. Uh, they, don't, they don't like that either. I mean, they don't like it to become a circus. They don't want their politics to be made into a circus. And he, he recognizes that. And the other thing Stewart recognizes is that the media secretly love Donald Trump because he makes them so much money.